are driving in Evans truck. Freaking, uh, what is it, 1991? Uh, it's a 2025. <laughs> 2025. Made in the future. <laughs> but they did a good job back in the future making trucks like these. The engines still run. Which is pretty nice. Mostly when I, you know, looking to buy my truck, I just listen to the sound. So it has like, <laughs> and they're going, mm -hmm. I like sounds like that. It's kind of soothing and calming when you're driving. So, yeah. It's one of the nice features about my old truck. And uh, it's a five speed manual. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't read the manual, but um, yeah, it's got, you know, well, it's got four. We do a lot of speed around here, don't let me lie, but you know, anyway, what we're saying. <laughs> uh, so, when did he got this truck? Oh, well, it's not really mine, technically. I mean, it belonged to my neighbor, but he wasn't using it, so I just kind of went over there and took it. Um, but that was about two years ago. Wow. Um, it's a nice truck. Like, and I like your uh, handbrake release. Yeah, this is good. This is custom. So uh -huh. uh, I got this off of uh, acehardware.com for another project. And then I repurposed that electrical tape um, to one of the wires in there. These are not break. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, yeah, your the headliner. Guy, you know. Wow. Yeah, those are actually diamonds. Well, they're replicas of diamonds, but it's pretty much like diamond you know, on a curly cue. So I put it up there so it's not come on diamond studded roof. Yeah. yeah. And you got the radio that's only one channel. Uh, yeah, but it's a good channel. I don't like the music most of the time, but you know, hard to complain when you only got one channel. Yeah. And um, and what are we gonna do about the hood up there? The hood, well, <laughs> well, we're gonna do. We're gonna get some sandpaper, and we're just gonna slough the hood off, and we're gonna get some spray paint, any uh -huh. kind of spray paint. Yeah. And then we're just gonna spray paint it. Yeah. Just thinking about maybe putting in like a cross, you know, to represent the cross right on the hood, or like. A, in Guadalupe or something I think would look pretty cool yeah but Guadalupe isn't that Mexican uh, yeah or Ch uh, Ch I think it's Chinese it's Chinese <laughs> yeah but you know everyone everywhere believes in Jesus anyway so yeah even the Chinese and it will be fast to do it right probably yeah you put a symbol of Jesus up there this thing's gonna be flying yeah I don't know much about engines, but I know if you, if you make the paint too thick, it's going to slow down. You know, it's going to cause more resistance when you're driving, and that'll slow you down. So, you need to put a nice thin layer of paint on there. Yeah. That'll make you go fast, like a swimmer with shaved legs, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And we are drinking Herba Mate. <laughs> This is an unusual drink for a countryside. Well, it's actually Coors Light, but you know, folks around here don't drink cheap beer, so I pour my cheap beer in one of these fancy organic soda pops. Uh huh. That way, folks don't know what I'm drinking or that I'm drinking while driving. <laughs> <laughs> what a genius idea! <laughs> yeah. Coors Light makes the world go round. Yeah, Coors Light makes the world go round. Thank you for showing me the truck. It's a pretty awesome truck. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you notice here. Yeah. I, I smashed out the uh, the plastic panel over the light. Uh -huh. That makes the light brighter at night. Which is yeah. Just because you always want to see more. Yeah. And other things I'd suggest is if you, if you get if you get one of these 2025 uh, GMCs. Yeah. They usually come with a rear view mirror, but I just break those off. Uh huh. It's kind of getting in the way of the view, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, so I'll put the, his info in the description. He's gonna 
have his own YouTube channel. Uh, he's gonna show his stuff and podcast or whatnot. Um, it's gonna be really interesting. Yeah. I might I'm do an episode on uh, on this rock I found. It's a round rock. Yeah. Uh, found it in the river uh -huh. next to a lot of other round rocks. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I just kept going down the river and all the rocks were round. It was like, how are all the rocks the same? But I found one round rock. It's really gray. The color's gray and special. I'm going to tell you all about it. So tune yeah. in next week. Oh. Yeah. Oh, actually, can you show me the engine? Oh, do you have to put this in park before you take the... Yeah. <laughs> Does this work? Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. Show me the engine too. So these trucks got uh, the automatic lifter uppers on the hood. <laughs> yeah. Mask and. Uh, my girlfriend, she had a, a collection of pet mouses, and I kept them in here for a while, but they ate, you know, yeah. ate a bunch of the insulation up there, but it's cheaper than buying mouse food, so, <laughs> uh, what the heck. <coughs> and uh, one of my favorite features here in uh, this KE2500 is um, the color of the washer fluid. It's blue. It's one of my favorite colors, kind of like the sky. And Jesus' eyes. So, you know, I just want to point that out. It's pretty much, you know, that and, uh, that's, no, that's really the biggest reason I, I'd, I'd recommend buying this car. It's really yeah. good washer fluid container. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, yeah. Well, I got it's this a little fountain feature over here, too. I don't know what happened, but, uh, you know, oh, oh yeah, there works so it spews out this black liquid, kind of like a little fountain yeah, over we, the engine. But we I think gotta it fix it, that. it keeps it colder, we cools it down like that. It's not how you cool the, that's the engine coolant, right? Coming yeah, out. and there is something leaking down there, too. What's that? Oh, yeah, I try not to ask questions like that. <laughs> <laughs> you might find out you gotta fix something that costs money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow.